Hi everybody, it's your girl Aqua Teal and I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys who I am and why I'm here. So I am, well the name I came up with is Aqua Teal and Aqua Teal represents, I am an Aquarius and my favorite color is Teal and represents cleaning, focus and stuff like that so I came up with the name Aqua Teal and my channel is based off of my journey and what I'm going through and what I've been through and my logo is I came to fight and why I'm here I'm here in the doctor because oh yeah I'm 23 and I have one child and I live in the Illinois area uh, I'm here because I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma I had it before I had it in 2015 I found out a week after I turned 19 and I've been in remission for three years and I found out a week before a week after this time 2019 I'm 23 now that it had came back and I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my notes because I didn't want to scramble around. Oh, so I'll be here for a total of four weeks, hopefully less or probably more. Um, and they're actually giving me four different chemos. Yesterday was my first day here, and I came around 3 o'clock. They gave me a port. This is not a port. This is a pick line. I before a, per a port. I had a port my first time around. And basically, the first day I, he I was here, they gave me one chemo. They gave me all the names of it and stuff. And then today, they gave me two different chemos. They'll be giving it to me two times a day, uh, each chemo. And they give me pain medicine, um, nausea and vomiting, and like antibacteria, stuff like that to keep me from getting sick. So the chemo is basically going to make my levels go down. So they're giving me stuff to help me stay sick. So I'm going to pause once the nurse comes in. My machine is beeping. And besides me detoxing and eating right, those will be the only chemicals and stuff that will be entering my body. The chemo and... Hold on. So that's like the main stuff they're giving me. I am on like an anti-depression... Hello. How are you? I'm good. So the nutritionist talked to you, right? Yep. So how do you feel about it? Um, she told me that I can keep doing my juices until uh, they tell me that I get neutropenic and I can't eat fresh fruits and veggies. Correct. Perfect. And then she told me I have to eat a certain amount of calories Correct. and protein. Perfect. There you go. Yep. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Because with that, is sometimes when when you reach the point of being neutrophilic, you become so limited of your choices yeah. when it comes to food and everything. So then that becomes problem for me problem. getting sick. It becomes the problem, yeah. So that's how it is. Okay. Thank you. Because she told me, said, Kathy, I don't think so, she... <laughs> yeah, I was telling her that I was okay with it just so to tell her, but yeah. I know I have no choice, but I still want to do it. I know. I said, Kathy, I don't think so. She, she <laughs> said, oh, she's, that I don't want to nice listen. Girl. She's a nice girl. She, she'll understand. She said, she said, she's very receptive and everything. Yeah. How are you? All right. So, that's yeah. my grandma. How are you, dear? Oh, well, Kathy. Kathy, you So, you just have to kind of, you know. Can I get some more ice? Sure. But, yeah, I told her I'll do stir fry there when time go. comes. Yeah. Thank you. Did you have lunch already? No. Yeah. Yeah, I have one of those ticket things, Grandma. I'll give you one of my little vouchers. You can go down and eat. Okay. Um. So besides what they're giving me for, I was diagnosed with severe ADHD, severe PDS. I don't know post-traumatic stress, severe anxiety, and severe depression. After I talked about it, I felt really good. I don't really, I have anxiety sometimes, but mostly like, most likely at nighttime, but it's not, I feel like I usually take pain minutes around that time to help me go to sleep. So when it's hot, I feel like my body just gets real anxious. Like, so I usually take a cold shower so that I don't have to take my pain medicine so that I can go to sleep. Thank you. You're welcome.
I made a schedule, uh, so my schedule is going to consist of me waking up at 5 a.m. They wake me up at 5 anyway to weigh me and do some of in my vitals. They do my vitals every 30 minutes, but sometimes they might stretch out to an hour. Or if they're really busy, it'll be like an hour and a half, two hours. So every 30 minutes, they come in and do my vitals. Um, so I plan on getting up in the morning, uh, meditate and do my yoga at 5 in the morning. And they breakfast don't open up to 7. So I'll put between 5 a.m. to 6, I'll meditate and do yoga and whatever else I can do. They told me once I start getting sicker and weaker, it'll be uh, hard for me to, but they want me to move around. So that's why I believe that the yoga will be good for me as long as I can do it. As you heard about my diet as well, they probably, I'll have to fix that and change that. So I'll let you guys know from when that times come, I'll tell you guys what I'm eating and stuff like that. And I'll put up a video of my juices and detox and stuff if you guys would like to join with that too. Um, I forgot I was just going to say something. Or uh, whatever. So my eating, I do a uh, breakfast. I have like a carrot, beet, cucumber, lemon, ginger, and green apple smoothie. And then like a mid-breakfast, I do romaine, lettuce, celery, cucumber, lemon, and apple, green apple. Then lunch is like spinach, parsley, carrot, celery, and beet. Then happy hour is tomato, cucumber, cilantro, and the lime. Dinner, this is a soup. So it's carrots, cucumber, celery, lemon, ginger. Then they add a avocado to make it a soup type of thing. And then a bedtime snack is romaine, parsley, uh, carrots, and celery. So that's six different juices that I'm, I wanted to take for like five days, five to 10 days, but they said in like three days or so, I won't be able to do that. So then I'll come up with a stir fry to fill in for that time that I can't eat fresh fruits and veggies. And then as I just decide whenever randomly throughout the day to do that. So in my schedule, that's just like spread it out. And then I do yoga three times a day. So from five, you're usually supposed to do it five, five, and then like at 11. So I'll try to make it work. And then I do, I have a circles, a corner, a work corner that I'm gonna put a picture up in the beginning of the video to show you guys my setup. And that's where I read. I have a millionaire success book. I have my Bible. I have my juice detox book. Then I have this natural cure type of book where it tells you how the government and all that stuff. So I'll talk about, I'm gonna put up videos. I did one today. He opened up Psalms chapter 10 and I did verse 1 through 18 and I wrote it down and I basically made it easier for me to understand then I'm gonna just talk and say how that's affecting us in real life and how it's gonna help me so basically while I'm here for a month I'm detoxing my mind body and spirit so that's why I incorporated the Bible because I wanted to learn more and actually do right once I leave out of here and then I'll go to sleep around most likely 8 or 9 so I'll do yoga before I go to bed, stretch and all that stuff. Then I put up there for eight hours. So if they allow me to sleep for the eight hours, that's my schedule. We already talked about what I was eating and why it changes. And then they have me doing like this mouth rinse thing because the camp, the, what is it called? The chemo. The chemo is going to start making me have like mouth sores and stuff. They said some people don't, more likely the older people do. But since I'm young, I might not have it. So I do like this biotin rinse and then this sodium thing rinse so I usually just brush my teeth with that gargle it spit it out then the core the whatever that stuff is I'll show you when I do my bathroom routine because you see I'm all oily I've been oiling up my skin I did cut my hair and I just use the same oil from top to bottom and I'll do that routine once we do the bathroom stuff so basically I brush my teeth with the biotin and then I gargle that then I use the other stuff and I gargle that and then not at the same time they want me to do a baking soda salt water rinse so like every i alternate that with the bio team but in the morning and at night when i do brush my teeth i use the bio team so when i feel like oh let me just go rinse my mouth i'll do that and i can't eat or drink anything 30 minutes after and that's what i do in the bathroom and i'll just show you guys once i do the routine and then in the shower they have me use this special type kind of soap and i'll show you guys that too and then the oil I have is, it was supposed to be coconut oil and olive oil. Uh, because you're really not supposed to, I think that's the best skin.
skincare because you're really not so in the future i'm gonna get shea butter as well and vitamin e because i really don't like cooking with coconut oil and uh olive oil because you're not supposed to heat it up so i use grapeseed oil and since i ran out of the olive oil i got grapeseed oil and coconut oil and that's what i'm oiling my body up uh this scar here is when i first started they had to take out a lymph node to uh, see if i had cancer because in my bone marrow they did a back bone marrow thing and it was not and then my body scan was lit up so that was there too but they wanted to know for sure because you know just because it's lit up it don't have to be cancer it could be anything so they had to actually go in there and check for it so that's why i have a scar here i have my gallstone removed my gallbladder removed so i have that scar and when i was 18 i had back surgery and i have that scar then i have a tattoo on my foot that says three of a kind and i'll talk about that a little later i do have a son he'll be two in september and his name's messiah and then when I'm in my work corner, I do like my business plan. When I get out of here, I want to open a garden and I want to help people. They can come and I'll teach them how to cook or meal prep. And then we'll do Ziploc bags and cut up and they'll use the food out of my greenhouse. So basically they'll just go home and prepare like juice it, blend it or, you know, stir fries or salads and stuff like that. But they'll just come to me. We'll get everything all prepared. And then I want to be able to do like a workout. So they'll come, we'll work out, eat healthy and work out and... In the future, I have other ideas, but for now, I'm going to start with that and to to be able to be able to, since I haven't been working for six months so far, I'm going to, when I get out of here, I want to model. So now that's what I want to do, get my body ready and healthier and in shape. So once I get out, I just like lift weights and stuff to build my body so I can have a model body. But that's my idea so far, my business plan that I'm coming up with. And then I'll have different channels. I'll have the channel where I talk about my scriptures for the day. I'll talk about my hair and skin and bathroom. And then just more if you guys did want to know about the cancer, I can I'll give you more. But Hodgkin's lymphoma is a bone type of cancer. So basically my body's not producing enough bone red, all the stuff that comes in your bone. It's not producing enough, so my immune system is low. So it's hard. So if I get sick or something, my body can't fight it off. And then once I get out of here, I'll do like me wanting my model stuff and how that's going, my workout. I'm going to do my yoga and meditation. I'm going to record that too. So you guys know like the little stretches and yoga I'm doing to maintain my body. And the reason why they want me to change my diet in the future, because when I had chemo before, you won't have a, it'll, you'll throw up a lot or use the bathroom a lot. And if you can't hold in your food, they're going to have to give me, right now this is how I'm getting my chemo and just some other things but basically if my food won't stay down once I start getting a little sicker they're gonna have to give me nutrition through my IV and then once my body starts showing that it'll then I'll do my liquid they'll transfer me to liquid diet and that's when I'm gonna start my juicing again and then it'll be a soft diet then I'll just do my soups and stuff that I plan on doing anyway so everything will work out in the long run they just don't want me to get too skinny before my body is not taking food and then I get really really skinny so that's why they want me to intake more calories and more protein and stuff to prepare my body for when I do have that downfall but that's everything I told you guys about why I'm here who I am and my plan for my future and it was nice to meet you guys and hopefully you guys tune in later